Welcome back to Unfinished, where we get to finish unfinished business. In this episode, we are tackling mental health issues. And our third question today, we'd like to know, why is it that young people are out here vibrant on their hustle, yet they are unrecognized? At the same time, they are not appreciated. Let us know why this is the case. I think they are, and I also think they are not, because uh, you'll find places where money talks. Yeah, you'll have all the papers you'll read, you have all the papers, you have the skills. But the money must talk, you know, corruption. I really hope corruption ends in Kenya. So, yeah, <laughs> money will talk and, yeah, there are those people who are appreciated because of money. And sometimes you find nile bahati bahati tu unajua nilipata connections and yangu ndo ako kule juu so nikajikuta hapo so yeah uh, as for me it depends with where you come from because uh, utapata a certain place uh, because mimi si kupata school fees ya kwenda campus or anything of sort then nikaanza biashara ya smoky or something watu watona ni kama they will start judging you. Sasa ameanza kufanya hustle. Sasa mapero hawana hawana kazi ya kunipeleka shule. So like it really depends with with but they, most people think that wewe ukianza hii biashara it's either you are broke na as kwanza from four livers or kwanza wenye hawakupata school fees to kuendelea na masomo they are really affected na wanaonekana ngani kama ni wao walichagua kukua in that situation yeah. my work experience like tunafinywa sana saa zingine yeah i've worked yeah I've, basically i've worked you see the overload of work you see and nowadays the range of employment the range of salary they always put 20000 it doesn't matter whatever work you're doing so the range will, they always put 20,000, 15,000. So when you're earning 20,000, NSF is here, NHIF is here. So all these things are being deducted. When you're deducted, you see, uh, you still maybe you have a family, you need to split this money to, I mean, to cut up for everything. So when you're at work, the only salary you are given, the task is a lot. The overload tax is a lot, but the salary ni ile ile. It is 20,000 from January to, to the, up to the next year, the following year. It is just constant 20,000. So I think the pressure comes from there. It depends on what you As in, what you say, industry, can you get an interview somewhere, or can you get a job somewhere in a house? Obviously, you can get a older than me. So perspective ya vitu vile walikuwa nafanya na vile tunaifanya saa hii ni different. So hawa sio wanakuwa so judgmental. Hawako welcome into new ideas. So vijana wanaona I am say honey get. Honey get, honey get. So hiyo ndo ina lead to wase kuona appreciate you eh, especially uh, the young people. So I guess people should be open to new ideas, new Ju, vitu zina move. Yeah. Kuna vile unazaji present kwa wase. Pia pia ukwe pia we upe ile 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 respect ama ama staff ka hizo vile vile ina deserve. Una cheki. Plus hata hivyo kuna kuna pia story ya ma drugs. Ma youths wanajulikana juu hiyo kitu na cheki. So inaweza kuwa pia wewe tumiangi hizi drugs but msi yake kuona hivyo ni youth. Ukitoka hapa mimi sijui chenye unaenda kufanya unaona. So, unaweza enda hata upate mse, mse anakuja hata job mse amelewa. Si ati yes kila mtu akuangi hivyo but ina, itachukuliwa hivyo. Ita, itachukuliwa juu hivyo ndo kuko. Unacheki. Yeah, mi naweza sema hivyo plus pia unacheki change. Mwanze kasa hii kasa hii ni wasa wangapo ameka dread. Unacheki. Sasa so, ai kubaliki kwanza places mingi. But sasa change, change manze, adapting to change yoni kitu yenye wase, yenye wakombele etu pia wa, wa, wa ina, inafaa pia wa, 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 hiyo sasa hiyo zila wa, <laughs> like, iko, uh, iko. Not that much, si, si yengi, juwa di mini kona experience kadha na, na jobs, kini sa zingine u take youth as a joke, uh, di kamu kona yo profession, they don't give you much respect. 
you know this country tuseme watu wenye wanai run so many people ni hawa watu wakubwa wenye they have experience and you get kwa hawa watu wakubwa they think that we as young people we don't have experience or rather we don't know what we are doing because wengi wao watadhania that when we, wa, we when we want to hustle we hustle because we want to go and party we want to go and get ourselves some closet but it is not the real thing some of us are really trying to like boost our lives and see what we will have to get in future so unapata they don't want to, to appreciate us because they feel like hiyo pesa tuna hasolia tunataka kufanya vitu zenye ziko peti most of them think that yeah no one will ever appreciate what you do it's just you love what you do and do it with passion that is my opinion about that uh, if you wait for somebody to appreciate you like you are working on and stuff no one will do that utegemea in the environment that you're in for and then environment matters a lot cuz and also the people in that environment whether they'll be like oh big ups nigga mom no no kitu nafanya waki 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 kwambia manze you can do it at least pia pia utakuwa na morale actually i can say many people do appreciate yeah wakiona talent for example wanakuambia eh you can do it lakini pia kwezi kosa wale watu wako like we are jana eh you know that's what we are tunasema wewe kama ni kitu wako unafanya fanya bila kusikia the grapevines basically not that much cuz nowadays like most incidences like it's just the young people who are doing who are doing the <coughs> negative things so like i don't think they are appreciated that much for me i'd say they are and they are not in that okay the you have said about the car wash like let's see my dad he goes and takes his car to the car wash he will appreciate that guy but me like i'm just here personally as his child i will not appreciate that yeah. man or anyone so i'd say people are appreciated by maybe someone who you're serving yeah just that mm-hmm. the rest don't know about you they'll not appreciate you we vijana mostly yeah some of them wamekuwa appreciated wengine wamekuwa wamekuwa discouraged yani kila siku yani kila days is going the same but mostly some ju in a depend na connections either umepata umepata yani watu wanaweza ku support kama wako at the end of the day utakuwa discouraged hiyo kazi unafanya so i think the question is based on the any vile how any how you are used to living and how vile any the people you are around kuna watu utapata akona kazi yake vizuri amefungua kazi yake vizuri but hardly the people around hawakuji kwa hizo kazi zake so at the end of the day unapata hayuko supported so that's what i think there's some mutes like then people who are talented but they never they never got the chance to like to show it to the world yeah. it is said that 70% of a country's population is young people okay so young people are out here in big numbers chances are the more we are we might not be recognized and because everybody is doing something that is being seen and chances are you might not be appreciated the way you want to be appreciated now hear it from me if you're a young person out there and you're on your hustle and you're doing great things for yourself and for the betterment of your community keep doing it do not wait for people to come and clap for you because brother and sister not many people are going to do that they can only clap when they see you at the top all successful and all maze that's the only time they'll be there saying i'm so proud of you so do yourself uh do yourself some justice right now and just take it upon yourself to go out there hustle and hustle and hustle as if nobody's watching okay because they are watching your enemies are watching and they are real wait until you are successful you will see you will remember this episode our fourth question today we want to know as much as young people are vibrant and energetic and they are out here why do they doubt themselves much fear of unknown that's a major a major thing that makes young people to doubt themselves and also the um, many people actually even even if you talk to many youths right now 
who are young, they be like, I really don't know how my future will be like, you know. I don't know whether I'll be successful or not. Yeah, but so by such thoughts in their minds, you find that they like, eh. and that stress actually and depression in a way. Could you doubt now? So you need to doubt on a qualification, a job. Any society just to approve, any to need to need to bring change in the society. So most of the youth, on on any come down grade or kind of go. Need to put a. Mtu mwenye kuna kazi tuseme like anafanya kamera ama uko cyber maybe anaweza amka asubuhi aende kazi yake vizuri like the the day kwe so busy watu wako busy na shughuli zao maybe a lack customer hata kupiga picha so like ina underestimate sana ataona hakuna haja hata ku kuna sioni busy yangu ikiendelea sioni nikipata pesa akuna mashida zingine pia za nyumbani maybe so this makes them wanakuwa underrated their work at the end of the day wanakuwa doubtful sana about the work kwa kuna msiana ji doubt afai kwa anafanya kenye anafanya anafaa atafute kitu yenyewe ana uh, ana feel ako comfortable kufanya so kauna ji doubt find something to do yeah well majorly first it's from people not giving you like the amount of energy that you need to go and do what you want like okay for example let me say that i wanted to do medicine and i hear that it takes 8 years so maybe my parents will tell me no that you can't you tafika pa hali like utaendelea na utafanya dimi nianze ku doubt labda nitafika hadi mimi hapa na niache kusoma also i think it's because of whatever you are doing there's somebody at the top and you'll find out that the many years they took to get at the top like utangalia tu hizo miaka dio one like wizi mtaacha tu like whatever you had put you had set your mind to negative attitude Yeah I think that's the major point negative attitude because like you can just go to someone and will not just appreciate you but instead just give you some negative points then you just feel like you're so low to continue I just say it's confidence unaona like me kama me as a person nitaona like nitaanza ku compare myself with maybe joy because I know joy is nia anezongea nia anaweza kuja hapa kwa 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 video ama anything so mimi nitasema like hiyo course iko na wenyeji i can't do medicine because maybe i didn't perform well in certain certain subjects so as for me me i go with confidence and believing in oneself like i can do it hiyo yote ndio my youth wanakosa and that's why kuna 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 very many students wenye wana fail hadi waki waki graduate or anything else yeah. most young people compare themselves with other people who are up there and apart from that they listen to the negative uh, negative words what wana sema nini kuniuso akisema vibaya you know and i discourage i'm down there you know because i'm sema they don't listen to that positive speech from other people they nikwambia je most of it ni kusikiza watu unasikiza maoni mabaya unajikuta kile ambacho kimejaa kwa kichwa yako ni negative. So utajikuta hata wewe mwenyewe you're not succeeding. You cannot have success when you have a negative mind. So yeah. It's always when you are studying or when you're doing something you have just to believe in yourself. So basically doubting yourself it depends with the peer pressure as well. Where youthful age this someone you study like let's say you have a friend who is in University of Nairobi and I'm in University of Nairobi and we are doing the same course this person has got a job before me so i think yeah peer peer influence yeah most of us like tuki tukifanya vitu um there are some that you don't know you take it in different perspectives na unapata kuna mtu mwenye anaogopa what if i do this and it backfires or what if i do this na ini lead pabaya so you get someone and i end up kufanya kitu yenye 
ayuko settled nayo like you have qualms on it which is not right but ni fia tu sana sana ndio inafanya tuna step back from things that tunakuwa ku take chances yes as vibrant and energetic young people still doubt themselves and the number one reason as to why they doubt themselves is i'll tell you this in swahili hakuna pesa kwa mfuko yani financial confidence zero zero financial confidence that is why sometimes young people will be out there they do something which is so great something that has never been seen before but they end up doubting themselves and they give up at the end of it man you only could you waste sasa skiza listen is if you do not have the financial confidence drop finances and uplift your confidence apply pressure when i say confidence apply pressure on that word confidence you need to boost your confidence levels as a young person so that you kill that doubt also affirmations affirming yourself every day that you are indeed amazing indeed you are meant to be here in this world you are meant to experience this beautiful world that god gave us okay yes ukiendelea kujambia vitu mzuri hapa kwa akili think positive and do positive things chances are doubt is going to die na pia mungu apendi stories of doubt so don't doubt god and of course do not doubt yourself yay we have come to the end of this show this is unfinished where we get to finish unfinished business my name is Karen Jusa it's about that time i say goodbye